Hey everybody, it's Gamer Number Nine Eight here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask. All right, so we did the stuff we did last time. In the last part, we did what we did. In this part, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I do hope to at least get to where the temple is located, but I do want to take care of a few more things. Uh, oh, sorry. Um. Well, we have our pictograph. Well then, why don't you show me the bit to grab you dig? Here you go. Oh, 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 the king. You are amazing. If you're not a Deku scrub, you're not allowed to enter the Deku Palace. But somehow you took this picture. This is a great shot. <laughs> This is as rare as they come. I'm giving you a big prize. And for that, we get ourselves a piece of heart. I'm looking forward to your next picture. <laughs> you better I'd be. I mean, that, that you know, having to take a picture of the Deku King is not exactly obvious, but there is an alternative. Now, I could be wrong with this, but alternatively, you can take a picture of his son who just happens to be Tingo, and he'll, he should give you the piece of heart that way. I'm not sure about it because I haven't tried it. All he gives me is 100 rupees, but that's only because I only ever do it after getting the piece of heart from taking the picture of the Deku King. Alright, let's just hop, hop, hop our way across again. And yes, you do need to be a Deku for this because normal Link cannot stand on the lily pads. He will just crush them. And we're getting close to the end of the morning time. It's going to be night time soon. Which is perfect because there's something I want to do in Clock Town. And it will only come at midnight on the dot and you have to be there. What does this sign say? Deco Palace ahead, beware of Octo Rocks. Oh, okay. And over here there is yet another frog. Once again, you cannot bother him. And also, something I forgot to mention is uh oh. You know about the Octo Rock, right? All you have to do is deflect the rocks it spits out. You can't really do that as the Deku. This will have to do. So the Octoroks are pretty generic, and here we go with with the whole generic theme again. But there's a difference, they take two rocks instead of run. There we go. Anyway, as I, I was saying, off screen I deposited the most of my rupees, because as if you remember, at the end of the last one I was maxed out. So I went to the bank off screen to deposit the majority of them. But Put, 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 put. Uh oh. Oh, good. Okay. So, anyway, we were told to um, go to the site of Woodford Temple. Now, to get there, we need to go to the Deku Palace, and there's an exit over to the right here. Oh, no, no, we're back. That's right. And up here, um, the sign should say, Wood for shortcut for use by Deco Scrubs only. Yeah. So in the, in the flower we go, and we can just shoot our way up here, and through here. Now we'll end up back in the southern swamp area, only now we're going to be all over, going to be climbing over these plants, and here we have a brand new enemy. Isn't that a dragonfly? Is it? As long as you stay away from its tail, it's no big danger. The... The dragonfly will try to electrocute you with its tail. There's two ways to beat it. One is to shoot a Deku bubble at it, and the other one is just to pop out... Pop out from below when you're in a Deku flower. Like so. And now it's night on the first day, and I'm glad a cutscene didn't interrupt us there. There's a... There's a hole we can go down, but it will only lead to like... A, a, ru a few rupees. It's not gonna be really worth it. Okay, just keep going across these flowers. It's 
flowers on flowers, I guess. Now the um, the flight time isn't actually timed, it's actually based on distance. So you could stay on the spot and you won't lose any flight time. Put oh god, who's that? Oh no! Ah! This is disturbing! Ho 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 hoot! This is a rare sight. Are you a fairy child, correct? What business might you have in this poisoned swamp? If you dare not venture further, I shall pass no judgment. It is better that you hurry back to town. This swamp you are in has lost its guardian deity, but it was destined to fade anyway. Hoot hoot. And that destiny is not solely limited to this swamp. If you have the courage and determination to proceed in the face of destiny, then I shall teach you something useful. Before coming here, had you not seen any of the stone statues that bear close resemblance to me? I have placed those throughout the land to aid the one with the power to change the destiny of this land. Wherever he may appear. If you have left proof of our encounter on any of these stone statues, then the song carved at my feet will certainly be of some assistance. Remember it well and play it wherever the, aid, the need arises. From the first time you play the song, we shall become eternal friends transcending time and place. So we actually have a new song and yes, Kepera Gebera is back I'm afraid, but thankfully he is very tolerable here because he only appears twice. And he's actually useful. Here he teaches you a new song, which is not required, but it's still very, very helpful. This will unlock the second purpose of the owl statues. May the soaring wings take flight. Down, left, up, down, left. You played the Song of Soarin'. This is your teleportation song. Any owl statues you have activated will become warp points, so when you play the song you can warp to any of the ones you've activated. You learned the Song of Soarin'. This melody swoops you up and sends you soaring to a stone bird statue in an instant. See? Helpful. Now off we go. We need to just go this way. And watch out, don't go that way. In here. Now, this is Woodfall, the location of the tempo. Ugh, that moon! Woodfall. Yeah, you don't really see the temple, but it's here. Kind of. Alright, over here is another new enemy that wasn't in Ocarina of Time, but has, I believe, appeared in past Zelda games. I don't know, but hip loops are hot-headed, so you so they'll charge if you look them in the eye. If it comes at you, assume the defensive position. You can defeat them easily with Deku bubbles, but it takes two hits, and yeah, they will charge at you. So use your almighty. Nutshell. Ah! Take that! Take that! Take that! Ugh. These guys are annoying. Uh, yeah, no, it's a hip loop. No, I don't. I want to cancel. Take this! You can only stun them with the spin. Watch out! Uh, ooh, I went past them. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, just send me back up there. And there's a mad scrub as well, but we can beat him with the spin. Whoa! What the hell? Whoops. I fell. Whoa! Uh, what do you think you're doing? 
Whee! <laughs> oh, crap. No. Oh, no! Whoa, 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 whoa! Quick, run! There's a mad scrub over there. I could take it out with a deck or not. If only I could aim this thing right. There we go. Oh, a heart. Great. Whoops, 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 whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, oh, what? <laughs> well, this looks like it could be a fun episode. There's no hip loop over here, thank goodness for that. Uh, Alright, so over here... This this um, platform over here is important. Isn't this the Deku Scrub, Mark? I wonder if they worshipped here. Indeed they did. But right now there's an owl statue to activate. So we can warp straight to this point anytime, which is very helpful. Especially since I want to go back to Clock Town a little later. Um, where's the Deku? Okay. Now over in that treasure chest over there, it's just five rupees. I'm not going to bother with that. That hole over there actually leads to another fairy fountain. Because we're at the, actually at the side of the temple, so... There'll be a fairy fountain where some stray fairies are missing. Oh, no. Can I make that? Whoa! Well, I made it. Whoosh. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell? He's coming for me, isn't he? It's alright, my nutshell will protect me. My nutshell... Is he stuck? He's stuck! Ha <laughs> ha! Ha ha ha! You can't touch this! You can't touch this! You can't touch this! Na 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 na! Na na na! You can't touch this! Nope! can't touch this. You can't touch this. Ha! You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Oh, damn, the game's slowing down right now. <laughs> Take this. You can't touch this. Can't touch this. Eh, 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 eh. Can't touch this. Well, that was fun. What's up here? Alright, another dragonfly! And I never really did, um, check out the mad scrubs, did I? That's a mad scrub. Even though it's weak, it sure likes to attack. Uh, get in the flower. Pollinate it! Now watch out for this guy, because he can knock you out of the sky. So into the flower and boom. We're gonna make our way all the way around. Oh great. Time for that sound again. Woo 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 woo. Right, this is what we needed. This treasure chest. Deco Link is so small he has to jump into the chest itself to get what's ever inside it. But there we go. Piece of heart. So that's why I made the whole loop of the area. Okay, get in here. And, well, let's see what it, what's in this chest here. What's in the chest? Another 20 rupees. Oh, can I make that? Good, I can. Right, the time is, um, it's getting to quarter past eight at night on here, so... I should probably go already. Come on, let's play the new song of Soarin'. Do, 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 do. And, so the clock town, yes!
So after this pretty cool animation, we end up our destination. Now, the, pl the thing I want to take care of takes place in North Clock Town at midnight. I'll have to do a bit of waiting, but I can put with it. I'll just use the magic of editing. And put on my bunny hood for no reason whatsoever. Wait, Tingle's not here. Wow, Tingle really isn't here. Is he not here at night? Well, let's cut the let's cut the live shrubbery. Anyway, we got this guy over here. I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. Yeah. Ball. Okay, I guess I'm waiting here until midnight. It's quite a bit of waiting, but only for me. Finally, here she comes. Now, when she shows up, don't leave North Clock Town. Otherwise, this this will not go in your favor. So this old lady's gonna just chug along. I'm sorry. What? So she's just gonna very slowly chug along. And well... We're just gonna have to wait... For a bit? While she just chugs her way along. She's gonna head towards um the gate over here. And well... Um, lady? Do you think maybe you could hurry up a bit? Okay, so now this cutscene is going to activate where we see that strange guy walk up to her. But even he chugs along. She finally got robbed! Ouch! Watch out! Stop, thief! Give the old lady her luggage back! To the rescue! Just hit him with your sword. That's all you have to do. And so he drops the bag and he runs off. Yeah, not so slow now, are you? I mean, look at the guard! The guard is standing right there. And yet, he lets this all happen. Thank you. Since he didn't make off with them, I can finally stock bomb bags at our shop. Maybe I'll put them out tomorrow. Uh -huh. Yes, I must thank you. It's a dangerous mask, but maybe you could use it to throw your own festival fireworks. And you got the blast mask. Well, we'll see. You can have a blast with B, but you'll lose life energy in the process. It's basically a emergency bomb, if you will. Well, thanks for helping me. Take care. The old lady from the bomb shop was added to your notebook. You got it, a woman's luggage. This was added to your notebook. <sighs> so here's the blast mask. It covers up our entire face, and we can press B to basically cause an explosion, but you will lose life. But, if you have your shield up when you do this, you won't get hurt. Now, you can't abuse this item, because you can only really explode, um, um, once every while. It does eventually 
um, let you use it again, but only once in a while, really. So you can't abuse it. It's just used as like an emergency bomb. But the best thing about um, saving her, saving her is she actually stock big bomb backs into the bomb shop, and you can buy it for ninety rupees. I don't have ninety rupees, but I'm gonna go out there in the wide open space and grab a few rupees. Okay, so I got the necessary rupees out there on Terminal Field, just cut some of the grass down and open up a few treasure chests. It is worth knowing that the treasure chests will reset themselves when you start the cycle over. Everything resets itself actually, but you probably already knew that. So here's the bomb shop. We can talk to the owner here, because um, this this guy's uh, mother was actually the old lady we saved. So here we go, the big bomb bag. This can hold up to 90 bombs. We just got it in stock. For 90 rupees, you can carry 10 additional bombs with you. You got a big bomb bag, now you can carry up to 30 bombs. So there we go. Now, I'm going to go back to Woodfall. And I will end things off there. So once we go there, let's just there would fall. So wrap those wings around me. Phew. Ah, moon. Right, so we'll stop right here for the time being. I'll quick save up this owl statue. And next time on Majora's Mask, after after a bit of a delay, we're finally going to enter Woodfall Tempo. So until next time, see you later.